Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And as I'm sure you've heard, the latest flagship from Samsung, the Galaxy Note 9, is now official, packing some really good specs, including the latest processor from Qualcomm, the Snapdragon 845, and of course a massive 6.4 inch display. So it is a really great device for gaming, and that's what I wanna do in this video, really push the processor and actually go ahead and run a bunch of different games, do some gaming tests, and even hook it up to one of my monitors uh, for some big screen gaming. I have to give a big shout out to Qualcomm for sponsoring this video. I will also be testing out audio on the Galaxy Note 9. That's a big deal when gaming. You'd like a good audio experience, especially with games like Fortnite. You really need some good audio to know your surroundings and where people are. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, gaming test and audio test on the Galaxy Note 9. begin let's start with the big one and that is fortnite it was actually exclusive to galaxy devices upon launch it will be coming to other android devices very soon as well now with fortnite of course it is a more graphical intensive so uh, game so it is nice that you do have the snapdragon 845 which offers 30 percent faster graphics rendering and gaming performance so you're going to be able to have higher quality visuals and smoother gameplay especially with these uh more intensive games so now that Fortnite is loaded up. You can just go ahead, it is free. Uh, you can just sign into your account and be good to go. I'm letting you see the loading screen. Don't don't worry, the loading screen takes forever on every platform that I've played on uh, just because of, I guess, how much is involved with this game. Here we go. Let's go into the game. The Fortnite menu is just about the same on every single platform. You can go ahead and select all of your game modes. If I wanna go ahead and jump into solo, swiping over, you do have your battle pass, of course, which does sync across platforms. You can also cross-platform play as well. Uh, here's all of your things that you've purchased or you can purchase V-Bucks. Uh, but I do wanna go ahead and jump into a game real quick, a matchmaking game, just so you can see how well it performs on the Note 9. All right, so we are now in the menu. I want to jump into settings and you will see here, I can actually change my quality settings to Epic just all the way up and it should run just fine. The mobile frame rate, you can choose 20 or 30 frames per second or allow a low power mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and we should be good to go. So now these are in the ultra settings. Just make note of how smooth it is, how things render. We will go ahead and see where we wanna drop. How about tilted? You guys are gonna have to cut me a little slack. My mobile Fortnite skills are definitely not as good as I am on PC. Um, so don't expect too much out of me. Let's go ahead and drop. And you do have the standard controls where you have the left joystick. You can pull the shoot on the right with some buttons. You have jump, shoot on the right. Uh, let's go ahead and land here. And again, cut me some slack with, with uh, the mobile gaming skills, at least with Fortnite. It's a little more difficult. It's going to take some time to get used to. Um, so don't get too frustrated at first. It will just take a little bit of time. And if we want to go ahead and land on this roof, we can. A little difficult to play with this camera in front of me. And it looks like you also have footstep, footstep marks, as you can see on my screen. So visuals popping up. I have a guy right next to me. I want to go ahead and try and find a gun, which he found and I did not, unfortunately. So this might be a quick Fortnite game. And it was, uh, but as you saw, even when getting in that fight, things were smooth. I could start to run away without worrying. Looks like this guy is actually pretty good. We can return back to the lobby. On the Note 9, you also have a feature called Game Tools. So if you swipe over, you could choose no alerts during the game. You can have screen touch lock. You can take a screenshot. You can record as well, or navigation button lock. There's also a, additional features, floating keyboard, auto screen lock, and a pop-up panel. So nice that you can kind of turn off alerts if you are just looking the game and not be bothered by any alerts. And of course, with the Note 9, you do get the amazing 6.4 inch display. Definitely the best display on any phone right now, in my opinion. It is a fantastic Super AMOLED display. Really looks great when you are gaming. As you can see, I can run through, grab a couple guns, grab some shield. All right, so I hear someone outside. Let's go ahead and try and pick a quick fight here. There we go. <laughs> uh, a little difficult, but uh, definitely got a kill there. There we go. Um, but yeah, that would be Fortnite on the Galaxy Note 9 running smooth. Very impressed with how well this works.
And of course, the Premier League just started, so I'm sure a lot of you are going to be wanting to play the FIFA game. Also worth noting on the Note 9, you have a home button as well. Even when you're in full screen mode, so while you're gaming, you can get back to the home screen. You just hard press where that home button is and it will take you back home. And you'll see very smooth to just hop back into that game. So whether you're multitasking, you need to go ahead and send a text message, you can do so. Snapdragon 845 also has 30% more power efficiency. So you're going to be able to play longer when you're on the go, whether you're on the train to work or potentially on a trip. Especially when paired with that 4,000 milliamp hour battery the Note 9 has, you can expect to be playing games for much longer. And of course, with the Note 9, you have the ability to connect to a monitor or a TV for some big screen gaming. So we're going to test that out. Also with very low input lag. So you'll see here, just go ahead and run through some things, pull down the notification tray all the way, and just look at how smooth, fluid it is, and how almost instant it is. So that latency is fantastic when connecting to a monitor. Let's go ahead and load up Asphalt 9. And of course, we're gonna be testing out the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 to see how well this game runs. And also running while on the big screen, on the monitor as well. So curious to see uh, how well this is going to work. Let's go ahead and load up a race. You'll see the menu screen is very instant, very quick. Uh, curious to see how well this is going to load up and run while in a race. Should be just fine, to be honest. Everything seems very smooth, very fast. Uh, I will be looking at the monitor. You can see the phone in the bottom left, but I will actually be looking at the monitor during this race. And here we go. Let's get started. Um, go ahead and use a little nitrous there. Do a little spin move. And there's a crash, a knockdown. Just want to try and get as many visuals going. We can do a little drifting. And of course, like I said, I am using the monitor for this game and it is, the latency is just so quick and so low that uh, I'm able to actually play as I would just any other game as well. Not just a game like this, just any full screen gaming uh, on the big screen can connect to a TV, a monitor. This is awesome. A really nice addition to the phone, all with one cable. I'm just using a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable on my BenQ monitor, and you'll see this is so fast. If I go ahead and press the home button, we can go ahead and go home, swipe up, go to any specific app. There you have it. So that is some big screen gaming. Next up is PUBG Mobile, and we will jump into settings here, into graphics settings, and I'm going to turn everything into HDR. Ultra HD is not available yet, but I'm gonna turn on ultra settings and hit okay. And then we should go back to game new settings have been applied. Now we can go ahead and play on uh, these ultra settings. It looks like the FPS got a bump. Let's go ahead and run through a game. Hopping in the plane, very similar style to Fortnite Battle Royale mode. All right, so just heard some shots over here. We will run over, there's some movement. Uh-oh, gotta reload, switch guns. Got him, barely, <laughs> that was close. Uh, but of course, heard the gunshots, so ran towards them, saw the guy. Uh, so yeah, that would be PUBG Mobile. Very smooth, actually. I'm very impressed with how well this is running. Everything's rendering in just fine. FPS looks good. Uh, yeah, so that's just about it for PUBG Mobile. Looking good. The Snapdragon 845 also has the Qualcomm Acoustic Voice UI, which works with your assistant, such as Google Assistant, really improving that always-on keyword detection. So if you're using that keyword, that hot keyword, to uh, activate your Google Assistant, uh, you don't have to worry about it really draining your battery and if you've ever wondered why your battery doesn't drain when it's always listening that always on keyword detection this is because of the qualcomm acoustic improvements that they have in their processors the qualcomm acoustic audio performance is really great very dynamic sound especially when paired with stereo speakers like the galaxy note 9 has a perfect example of where you want to have a good audio experience is when playing a game such as monument valley uh, the sound effects are fantastic, a highly recommended game from me. Uh, just overall, the sound effects, the music, the noises, and even the visuals go really well together. Uh, so this is actually, the audio is all the way up. And you do have stereo speakers, one down at the bottom here, and one coming out of the earpiece. So overall, these visuals are just very good, and then it gives you a really good audio experience, especially when playing games like PUBG and Fortnite, as well as I mentioned. 
uh, you will go ahead and need to know where people are, where they're walking around, and it makes it so you can be better at those games if your audio experience is better. With that big display, of course, you're going to be watching a lot of videos, YouTube, Netflix, all that kind of stuff. And you'll see here watching a YouTube video, and I turn the volume all the way up. Audio sounds fantastic with those stereo speakers. This is actually a little too loud for the scenario I'm in right now, so I'm going to have to bump it down. But uh, really nice whether you're watching a potential video such as a Jerry Rig Everything video. Uh, you're going to get very good audio quality while watching uh, videos or even listening to music. And here's just a quick audio test with a song, copyright free song actually. And you'll see here, this is with it all the way up, getting very loud overall. Of course, the sound coming out, not only the right speaker, also the left speaker as well. So you can expect very good audio performance on the Note 9. And then of course, finally, in terms of heat, even after connecting it to a monitor, doing all of this high-end gaming, it gets warm, but never overheats, doesn't get hot by any means, it's just simply warm. And that is completely expected. So good job with that. Uh, that would be gaming and audio on the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 9, powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up button, drop a comment, let me know what you think. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.